What's up everybody, this is Paul from Boosted Films and in this video I'm going to show you how I replaced the broken mirror glass in my 2018 Honda Accord. And jumping right into it, I just want you to know that if you just have broken glass like I do, you don't need to buy the entire Honda mirror assembly. Of course you could, but it, that would cost you quite a bit more money. What I ended up doing in my case is buying some new but not OEM glass off of eBay. It was only about 20 bucks. It took about three weeks to get it shipped to me, but it was a cheap fix for this issue. Now, if you're looking to do this similar fix, I just caution you when looking for something on eBay to make sure that they show you a photo of the back of it uh, to, to show that it would actually kind of pop in place and that you're actually replacing the mirror glass itself. There are other items like this one shown on the screen where you could get basically an adhesive or a stick-on type. So honestly, if you think that's the easiest thing for you to do, you could buy the one where you just stick it on as well. I don't have any personal experience with that, but just letting you know the options and letting you know what to look for if you did want to do what I'm doing in this video. And to try to keep this short and sweet, really what you're doing here is you're going to be able to just pry off or pop off this broken glass and then you're going to have to switch a mounting piece in the back that is on the back plate of, of here that'll pop off as well and then you just push on the new one it's really that simple if that's all you're looking to hear you know just how to actually do this without replacing this whole assembly that's it you kind of use some pry bars as i'm going to show here on the screen i'm going to show you how i just pop this one loose i put a little rag in there to make sure i didn't like chip or scratch the paint on the mirror assembly itself but then i just pried with some force and then it popped off that old broken mirror glass and of course i recommend comparing your newly ordered piece to your piece that you have removed make sure everything looks uh, similar make sure you have the right side of course and that it should match up right so once i had my old broken glass off i did compare it to the new one it looked very similar. There's a, uh, two little plugins on mine as well, I believe, kind of for the heated mirror option if you had it. Uh, my Honda Accord is an EX, so the lowest trim, so that did not have any he heated mirror option that I needed to actually worry about anyway. So as you can see here, I'm just prying up this white plastic piece that I need to transfer from one mirror to the other. And it's just kind of clipped in there, so again, using a little force, just pry it up. And then you're going to lift it up and move it over to your new mirror. And then you should be able to just push it down, use a little bit of force, and push it onto that new mirror piece that you're going to install. Here's just a better shot showing exactly what mine looks like. You want to make sure that these little black pieces are clipped around that white part and holding it, you know, in place. But that should all kind of come as one one assembly there. You'll take that, that white mounting bracket and move it over to that new mirror. So it had gotten a little dark outside when I went uh, to finish this job, but you should be able to simply line it up and then use the palm of your hand, a little bit of force. You could use a rag again or something else for a little protection if you want. And then uh, you'll just push and you'll hear it snap into place. And that's about it. It's a pretty easy fix. I just wanted to make this video to let people know that, you know, buying that glass is an option and that you can fix it for relatively cheap. Initially, I thought I may have to spend like 150 bucks to get a whole new mirror assembly when this happened. And I was very happy to see that I could do this cheaper fix option. So, of course, me being a YouTube person, wanted to film it and show everyone else exactly what I did to fix this mirror issue. And I've had this mirror for about a month or so already, been using it, and it, it works fine. But I think the specs are off just a little bit with this one that I bought. It does not seem to actually want to fully tilt up. Um, it seems like it might be a little bit bigger than the one I removed, but for all the you know the purposes I need it for, it, it still functions just fine. And sometimes I can just manually push it with my hand a little bit to get it where I want it uh, to go. So just a little feedback on the one I bought. If you maybe bought an OEM mirror spec, uh, maybe it would fit better if you could get just the OEM mirror glass. I'm not really sure, but uh, that's part of the reason I'm making videos like this. Uh, if you've done this fix yourself, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let people know if you replaced the whole assembly or maybe if you bought just an OEM mirror glass or if you even bought just the mirror adhesive and stuck it on. Let me know if that worked for you. Leave a comment in the comment section so we can all kind of work together on this stuff.
But that's about it for this video, everybody. Hope you found it a little bit helpful, and thank you so much for watching.